first, protesters brought guns to the state capitol to protest Governor Gretchen Whitmer's stay home order. And today, they brought scissors. Fox 47's Kellen Buddy has more on Operation Haircut. Despite Governor Whitmer's stay at home order, hundreds lining up at the Michigan State Capitol on Wednesday to get their hair cut, saying she's shaving their rights away. We just want to work. We can work safely. She's not our mother. We control our, ourselves. Angela Regas, just one of many barbers on hand to cut hair Wednesday, ready for whatever state officials had in mind. That included a $1,000 citation for disorderly conduct. I will fight it all the way. I don't care. I am sick of this. Regis the first to get her citation, but not without some resistance from protesters. Where does it give you the right for that? Where does it give you the right for that? No, where does it give you the right for that? Where does it give you the right for that? Carl Mankey, the Owasso barber who opened up earlier this month, was on hand giving haircuts as well. I got one foot in a grave and the other on a banana peel. You know, what the heck am I going to do? I want to work. Mankey getting support from citizens and state legislators alike. We need to get back to what's uh, a new normal around here, and that is people operating, get these small businesses back in business. It's not too late for her to make the right choices and the right decisions. These protesters hoping that Governor Whitmer will cut them loose sooner rather than later so that they can go back to work. And that was Kellen Buddy reporting for us there. According to state police, all the citations written at the protests will be forwarded to the attorney general's office. Any professional barbers found to be violating the executive order could have their licenses suspended.